Caterpillar. Many people ask what my job is, what our firm does, the company in other words. I started to look into it and found that a lot of what we do is to help people in developing countries have the chance to live in modern cities, get running water, to be able to build hospitals, schools, houses and roads. And of course we help Bruce Willis clear up all that rubble he always leaves behind. This is what we are. Caterpillar is the world's largest manufacturer of construction and mining equipment. My name is Reg. This is where I work, in the Caterpillar factory at Godelo, which is just 20 minutes by car from Budapest, capital of Hungary, halfway across Europe. We produce the buckets and some other components of the most modern machines of CAT. The factory takes up an over 100,000 square foot site and does work for Belgium's Cat Gosseli and Cat Distribution Services, Cat in France at Grenoble, Cat's UK plant in Leicester and CWTS in Holland. Everything is worked out under the principles of Caterpillar, using the CPS, the Caterpillar production system. But let's stop for a second and take a look. During production, we use 20,000 metric tons of steel a year. This quantity would be enough to make around 10 copies of Seychini's chain bridge over the Danube in Budapest, or over 11 million large cooking pans with lids. Our smallest bucket is the mini excavator. This is only 30 kilograms. Its width is 30 centimeters, volume 25 liters. Our biggest bucket is the 980 wheel loader bucket. It's two and a half tons. Its width is 2.6 meters and it carries over 5.7 cubic meters. These buckets are made with enormous precision using a meticulous manufacturing process. The engineering panning is done with a state-of-the-art piece of software called Pro Engineer. The physical work starts with the cutting. These machines can cut any kind of sheets from 5 mm to 90 mm. Like a knife through hot butter. You dig me? Rolling the steel sheets, we use a different kind of machine with gigantic output, like the 240, the 360 and the powerful 460. For bending, we use 250 tonne or 400 tonne CNC conductor machines, which have 400 tonnes thrust. The Erzviken has incredible precision and manufacturing speed, so production is harmonized and efficient. Just to give you an example, 400 tons thrust is like 10 A380 super jumbo jet engines, enough to lift two and a half fully fueled and loaded super jumbos for an entire flight. 
The assembly process might look like children's building blocks, but the work is hard to get just right. This is serious work done in carefully controlled stages. Controlled, of course, from above. phase. Pieces that make each bucket are fixed together. The carrying capacity of the product during this phase is still not significant, but it's enough that the welder can work with it. And later he makes the standard bucket. That's what Caterpillar is proud of. In the factory, people and robots work together, not quite like in the Terminator films. People and machines both do the welding together. These modern robots are necessary for standardized production. Changing settings takes time and costs money. The smaller products are entrusted to human welders. With bigger buckets, our work is made easier by the 10-ton manipulators. It's important to note that grinding is now the responsibility of welders. A change made not so long ago in the interest of prompt and precise work. Semi-finished workpieces are moved within the plant by cranes. Remember, the welders operate the cranes, but only if they have a crane driver's license. The material is processed with one hundredth of a millimetre precision at the processing centres. This is how the product is finished perfectly. preparation before painting, more precisely for surface preparation, we use handheld shot blasters. Painting, we do this in another building, the paint shop. The almost done products are hoisted here with a crane and painted by hand. The dominant colours here are yellow and black. After painting, the dried buckets and other steel products just need to be packed and are ready for transport. If we follow the journey the bucket takes, we'll see how important quality control is. Although one of the mottos of our company is, quality must be produced and not controlled, we still have to inspect as well. To spot any defective components, we have a range of quality gates.
gate to check incoming products. There can also be random checks in the production area. Pre-paint gate. Products about to be painted. Checking after painting. Deficiencies can be easier to see sometimes after painting, partly because of the light conditions, partly because of the greyness of the material, because without colour it's harder to see flaws. Checks on the appearance of packed up products. Aesthetic and technical testing of packed items, that's to say products waiting to be shipped out, happens in the quality testing area. All this being done with the help of a modern Faro type coordinate measurement system. A few words about our performance improvement dialogues. In briefings before the shift starts, we summarize recent events and the near future. It's useful to discuss everything we'll need to know during the shift. It prepares our minds for the work ahead. Although it might sound strange, it brings together the team. Like the warm-up before a football match. Then our trainer says, off we go, lads. We keep our focus on each customer's requirements. The factory works hard to produce in line with customer demands. So we produce as many buckets as customers need, no more, no fewer. Production is continuously under control. You can compare it to how a racing car and a driver work together. The driver uses his hands, legs, eyes and brain together. If he needs to stop, he stops. If he needs to change the speed, he uses the gear shift. If he needs to go, he steps on the gas. Meanwhile, as he drives the car, he gauges the situation and what's going to happen next. The Six Sigma is a method. It's a kind of way of seeing things, which helps each competitor reach a target to get to the front. It's as if from the glass cabin above, it can help drivers reach their targets in the race course below to decide on goals, zoom in on them, constantly checking the driver's situation. It can analyze the breakout points, the state of the route, the dangerous corners, and what the other drivers are doing. It's constantly developing, which means active feedback so he can overtake the other racing drivers, overseeing and checking that this driver gets his gold medal on the rostrum. And where does the car go? Onwards towards Vision 2020. Our name for the strategic road plan, the 2020 vision, in the year 2020. Let's get back to the factory. There are some main principles which are laid down. Some of them, looking for waste. We distinguish eight different types of waste. One, unused employee creativity and capability. Two, defects. Three, excess inventory. 4. Overproduction 5. Waiting time 6. Excess motion 7. Transportation 8. Overprocessing Who likes waste? Creating standardized working processes Just imagine if everybody did the same jobs differently. Imagine the chaos. So the company standardizes to make sure development never stops. We check the process and the technology before we put anything new into production. Just as with racing cars. What would happen if we weren't sure of the driver's skill or the car's condition? Safety is the most important of all. Is there any need to say how vital it is?
C. Act. Be the first who knows about new problems, who can understand everything that needs fixing. Besides the daily routine, from time to time, we build small teams who spend a week improving things around them in the workplace. In other words, they restructure and redesign how materials and locations get moved and used. This is what RIW means. We have to take time to solve problem. If something is wrong, we have to stop the production line, fix the problem. In other words, see the whole process into reality the way it was planned. Development of people. They want me as a worker of this company to be interested in the creation of its products to develop long term. We create transparent workplaces to see problems and possibilities clearly. The 5S system helps make this possible. It's like forming the interior of a car, helping the driver to keep it running in just the right state. Our 5S system on one hand helps keep our environment clean and on the other improves the organization of the process so that we can locate and solve upcoming problems. Act decisively. Consider all possibilities, decide by mutual consent, and initiate the solution as soon as possible. These fundamental principles aren't necessarily the whole list, but they help us make the work efficient in everybody's interest. These fundamental principles further goals like people, quality, velocity, and cost. I'm glad that besides quality, velocity, cost, the first of those four words stands for people. And I feel it. I feel protected at work because of the safety equipment and medical care I get. When CAT hired me, they informed me about worker security and safety and about the system, different training courses and practical suggestions. So I can tell you, I've really been educated by CAT. It's good to know that our bosses trust those of us who stand beside the machines and appreciate our opinion. Our recommendations and ideas to streamline the work are rewarded, and the reward is not just some nice sounding words. Our attitude to work is helped by being able to say what we think whenever we need. The walls at the work area are always open for business. We can just get an idea card, write down our ideas. For example, one of the welders at WHL has worked out a new welding process. The introduction of the new welding process means that only two out of ten buckets need to be ground down before they get to the milling machine. The idea cards are not only read by our supervisor, but are also presented to management, where they're seen as very valuable feedback. The system helps adaptation, safety and efficiency with colour coding. For example, the green line on the floor shows that we can still use shoes in this area. But once outside, protective footwear must be worn at all times. The orange colour is for supervisors. Black is for attendants like quality controls or painters. Grey is for the TTT. And dark green is for the BCP. While blue is for components. Dark blue for the HEX. We still have another very important symbol. Two colours. Red cross on a white ground. First aid personnel. If anybody needs serious help, you know where to go. As you can see, everything is done in painstaking detail. Our working process, our environment, our waste reduction. It helps to keep order in the life of the company and also in our life. Without these, Caterpillar and the profit we contribute to would be insignificant. Who knows where those 100,000 people and their families would work without this culture of precision. We build the world of tomorrow with the work of today. I love my job because I'm lucky enough to be in a good team. Our bosses want us to keep working well as a team in a way welding us together for an efficient job. They lay on group outings where we get together, eat, drink and enjoy outdoor activities.
I also get help with travel costs. We get there by bus, but some of my colleagues commute by car. The company pays part of the fares or petrol. Is impeccable, which sets a good example for me. My salary is accounted for, the taxes are paid for, contributions are made for my pension fund and to my health fund, and the books are kept transparent. I can rely on my sickness benefit. I even get a bonus in case I'm an active part of the team, and of course, I don't have to pay for my protective uniform. Why do I believe in Caterpillar? I'm working for a company which believes its staff are its greatest asset. For a company which has stressed education and development even during the economic downturn. I'm proud to say I'm part of Caterpillar. <laughs>